sheer terror for two workers who are almost buried alive in the backyard of this North York home. Concerns now as to whether safety protocols were followed. 16 Toronto fire trucks, police and paramedics rushed to this quiet neighbourhood to save two lives. One guy was basically buried but standing up, but he was in the deeper part of the trench, which was probably about 10 to 12 feet. Uh, but he was trying to, he had both his arms free, so he's basically self, he was digging with his hands to get his partner out, which basically probably was standing and when the trench collapsed, um, he fell and he was lying horizontal half buried, three quarter buried because he had one arm and only his head out at that point. It took 90 minutes to rescue the two workers. The operation involved a technical rescue unit, the only one of its kind in the city. They were panicked, obviously stressed. Uh, so we gave them some oxygen, got some water to them. We have to stabilize the trench before we can send anybody in. Were safety protocols not followed then by the workers? Uh, I can't say. I mean, there was not, not, not nothing much in place uh, in our regards uh, for them. I'm sure they dug themselves like a few feet in and they just dug in further and further and further. Uh, I think people think that they can always come out of these things. When it happens, though, you think that, you know, it's going to fall in slowly and give you a sort of warning. It doesn't. It happens instantly and then you're buried. Toronto Fire's acting captain further says he found no plywood shoring up the trench or any other safety features. With swift teamwork, both men in their late 20s or early 30s were transported to hospital with injuries not considered life-threatening. One person climbed out of the ladder by himself, the one that was fully, almost fully uh, engulfed, and the second person uh, was able to wiggle his toe uh, when, when, we, when we cut off his boot. The Ministry of Labour is currently investigating to see how this happened. Malia Sheikh, City News, North York.